Excel templates from Inzara.com. Use certain approaches to keep the files very simple to use, but at the same time, very effective in solving real life needs. We designed them such that even someone who is new to Excel can start using the templates very quickly and benefit from them. We also keep it flexible so that an intermediate or an expert user can easily extend the functionality by adding fields or calculations. Before using the templates, it'll be very helpful to know these three important things. They are very simple and easy to follow. Tip number one, do not edit calculated cells. Each template has several calculated fields and it is very important that we do not edit the calculations. You can identify the calculated cells based on the green colored column labels that you will see also, in this case, in this screenshot, I've selected the cell E4 and I see a formula in the formula bar. This is how you can identify which cells are calculated cells. So please avoid editing calculated cells. Tip number two, input data is always visible in our templates. So in other business applications, you may have a form or a wizard where you enter your data and then click submit to push that data to the backend databases, which might be hidden. But in our templates, we use a different approach where the input information or input databases are actually visible to the user all the time. And so, for example, in this little table, the order number, product ID, quantity, and discount are input fields where the user can enter directly and you will always be able to see all the rows in this table. And this approach helps to make data entry and editing very, very easy and quick. At the same time, it puts the responsibility on the user to make sure that you do not edit any data unintentionally or by mistake because if you change any of the data that is entered already, since the calculations are dynamic and real time, the dependent calculations will update accordingly. So it is definitely a positive feature, but it puts more responsibility on the user to be careful about unintentional editing of data. Number three, Excel has its default recovery mechanism by which if Excel application crashes, it will recover the data as much as possible. There is no additional backup system or any archiving mechanism in these templates. These templates are just plain regular Excel workbooks. And so the recommendation is that you should keep saving your work while you're working with the file by pressing Control S or File Save. This will make sure that you always have all your information saved in your workbook. Second is to make copies of your file as backups on a regular basis. So in this screenshot, I've saved every week a copy of the file and I have named it so that I can see which ones belong to which week. So you can choose a backup or archiving mechanism that suits your needs and your schedule, but definitely have at least the last two or three versions of your data in backup so that if by mistake you delete your main file, you will always be able to go back to the last saved file and recover most of your data, if not all of your data. So please back up your file and keep saving your work while you're working with the files. Just to recap the three things, do not edit calculated cells. Input data is always visible, so it can be edited easily. Last thing is back up your work by saving the file regularly. If there are any questions about these tips or any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be very happy to respond. Thank you very much for watching the video.